Someone had clearly been rifling through the deliveries recently, though they didn't seem to have found what they were looking for. Obviously, the killer had been looting the facility, and it was unlikely that they planned to use volatile weaponry to spread peace and joy. Being a conscientious cat, Fear knew it fell to him to put a stop to the killer's nefarious activities. Finding himself inside a warehouse, the towering stacks of crates gave Theo some measure of hope. Perhaps the killer would try to search the top of an unstable pile and fall to their doom. Lost in daydreams of the killer being buried alive, Theo stepped blindly forwards onto a conveyor belt promptly shuffling him away from... <sighs> Perhaps he should pay more attention to where he's going. Perhaps it was unlikely that the killer would be ended by fallen cargo. But the belts leading into the dark and deadly machinery seem to promise an untimely demise. Spotting a bundle under some nearby crates, it appeared Theo's wishes had been heard. However, he tempered his excitement until he could get a closer look. Theo tempered his excitement, he didn't lose it. Stepping over a broken belt with great care, he was disappointed to discover not a body, but simply several empty crates bearing the label High explosive. Crates led Theo to conclude three things. The killer had found what they were looking for, they were definitely up to something, and Theo's work was not yet done. He moved on with the hope that the killer's loot would be enough to slow them down. Theo pondered the erratic crusade of the robots as they fired at non-existent threats. Perhaps the killer had just passed through?
felt, unable to tell the difference between a cat and a crate, and lacking the desire to learn, moved him once again as it would any other box. Hmm... As he headed for the door, few couldn't shake the feeling that the strange blue algae was creeping steadily across the wall behind him. Oh well, it was probably harm. Whoever Theo was following had certainly spooked these poor robots who were all consumed by blind panic. carefully padded forwards, avoiding lasers, Theo noticed the most curious drawing etched into the wall. But why would a killer stop to doodle? Theo couldn't stop thinking about the bizarre graffiti he kept seeing. It was unlikely the killer was taking the time for artistic creativity. Was someone else in the facility? As he stepped into the room, Theo found his racing mind halted by yet another drawing of a slightly more significant scale. Theo tried his best to examine the etching, but found it devoid of artistic value. As he began to move away, Theo couldn't help but wonder who would put so much effort into these acts of vandalism. Was it maybe some kind of poorly drawn calling card? Perhaps, he thought as he carried on, the murderer was simply an awful artist. Whatever it was, the mural failed to hold Theo's interest long enough for any meaning to be gleaned. According to the booming sounds of heavy industry and the massive shipping containers, Theo had found himself in some kind of loading station. was caught by something colourful and clearly out of place hanging from a rail across the room. A discarded tie. Was this some kind of taunt? It was becoming clear to Theo that the large boxes wouldn't just wait for him to cross. 
so he quickened his pace towards the infuriating clue. Hmm, clearly the killer had left this tie to send a message, but in doing so they had left a trail for Theo to follow. Perhaps he'd get the better of them yet. Though he was intrigued by the surprisingly expressive train waiting before him, on the other side of the tracks, a curious hole in the wall drew his eye. Perhaps the killer had made their own exit. Stepping onto the train, Theo glanced towards his goal and noticed a strangely carefree-looking robot bumbling around near a control panel. Hopefully this one wasn't a threat. The train began to quake, and Theo couldn't react fast enough to leap off. He had better find something to hold on to. Theo was quite unprepared for the sudden velocity and found his current predicament extremely upsetting. Luckily, he just needed to hold on until the train looped back to the station.
Theo staggered off the train quickly, driven by his newfound appreciation for solid ground and the terrible fear that it might suddenly set off again. Just ahead of him, he could see that bloody robot that had sent the train off in the first place. As he followed the irritating machine through the jagged opening in the wall, Theo hoped that he wouldn't ever have to lay eyes on it again.